I didn't have very high expectations for Kansas City. Wow. The vibe of the people is just probably the standout for me. There's so much more to do here than I ever imagined. We thought we'd only need two days, but we could easily spend a week exploring here. So we're currently in a crater. Our longest drive day yet starts now. Yay. It's gonna take us probably <laughs> nine, nine and a half hours to get there. Olivia's at the helm right now, holding it down. Yeah. She's probably gonna do the first half and I'll do the second half. We'll switch off, maybe try to do some work in the car. Here we go! We are now in Kentucky. Drew down on me and I'm not gonna go the long way. Yay! Oh my god, the old switcheroos! I'm a tired. We're down to the last 30 freaking minutes. <laughs> it has been the longest damn day ever. We'll get there right at sunset, so hopefully we'll have a little bit of we can unhitch. Not in the dark. Uh, she's oh, yeah. are these, here. Is this the park? Yeah, yeah, this is it. I hear the one. Dude, Dude it's it nice. Crazy. It's actually nice. <laughs> Look how nice these sights are. And we're finally leaving the RV park. Yeah, time <laughs> to explore. We've been working hard, cleaning the trailer, doing some maintenance, and now we've had that long deserved time of fun and play. I'm needing a coffee right now because I went to bed really late last night. <laughs> and we're headed to, a, where is it, Blip Roasters? Blip Roasters, and it's so cute. On it, it says, a motorcyclist cafe in a brick urban building serving fair trade home roasted coffee. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Blip Roasters. Outstanding coffee. 10 out of 10. Dude. 10 out of 10. Honestly, the taste of that, I could have that every single day. I mean, they have, they definitely take their coffee very seriously, but I just love the vibe in there. I mean, they have a motorcycle shop area with tons of little gifts and shoes, they jackets, garage, garage. They were roasting while we were there. It's one of the coolest coffee shops I think we've ever been to in the entire country. And Gabrielle at the front was so helpful, gave us lots of tips that we're gonna put to use in the next couple days. Hey, those Midwesterners, they're kind, they're friendly. They're good people. Good hospitality. Salt of the earth. <laughs> so a fun thing about Kansas City is you'll be driving and all of a sudden you'll cross state lines from Missouri to Kansas or vice versa without even realizing it. It is a big city that's split in two. KCK and KC Mo. So this is the Mill Creek Fountain, and if I'm not mistaken, I read this online, this was actually built in Paris, and this is not a weird effect of some sort. This is in fact yellow, and it's dyed to raise awareness for childhood cancer. So this is how it looks right now. Bright yellow. <laughs> and look, I wanna show you something really funny. No swimming, no wading, and my favorite one, no boating. <laughs> but uh, urination is okay because it matches the same color of the fountain. We are now cruising through the Country Club Plaza, KC's premier shopping destination. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, the architecture is what stands out here. It's very Spanish inspired. A lot of tiles. A lot of tiles, a lot of brick. Pretty nice. Nice shops. We got the, you know, the Lululemons, the Warby Parkers. Indochino, free people. 
It's got all the essentials. We're gonna do a little stroll here. Not really in the mood to shop, but it's just nice to kind of enjoy this this outdoor vibe in the sun and then uh, get some of that BBQ. We just checked out the Made in Kansas City store and it was super cute. Everything you can think of that's like made in Kansas City, all the funny shirts and a ton of like honey and... <laughs> yeah, I didn't know the honey's a thing, so honey. They have a cafe, they have a bar. Uh, really cute place to check out if you're in the area, especially if you want, yeah, especially if you want some Kansas City swag. All right, it's that time. Barbecue, slabs of ribs, pulled pork, brisket. We're going to Joe's. Joe's is, based on my research, I guess the most popular, the number one most recommended place. There are so many in Kansas City that I know we're just gonna scratch the surface. <laughs> but let's start it off with Joe's. All right. <laughs> we made it to Joe's. Kansas Woo! City Barbecue. And this is the original location that was actually born out of a gas station. This used to be a gas station. And they're mainly known for their ribs here. They, they recommend ordering the Z-Man uh, because you basically get a bunch of ribs, a half a rack of ribs and fries. And their brisket's also pretty good. Knowing myself, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of everything. <laughs> there then. <laughs> yeah, I'm too excited. Dinner, potato salad, barbecue beans. All for here. Order up. This looks so freaking good. Corn, oh mac and cheese. I like corn. <laughs> I like corn. I love corn. All your meat, my pulled pork sandwich, and the banana cream pie. And he convinced us we were on the fence about the pie, but then he said it. And I was like, ah, oh, darn. We gotta get a dessert. So I wanna try a little bit of everything. So I found uh, on the menu, they got this thing called the cowboy, where you get basically a, a melange of sorts. You got your brisket, ribs, sausage. I went with mac and cheese and street corn as my two sides. I'm gonna just dig in right now because this is looking too good. Oh my god. <laughs> I love the cartilage. I know I'm a weirdo, but I eat pretty much everything, except for the bone. You know what, I will say this. When it comes to the value, for what, like what you're paying for it, it's much more affordable here than it was in Austin. Yeah. This was 20 bucks. This whole thing right here, my whole plate, this tray, was like 20 bucks. That's a steal. Mm. Kansas City barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I say that, I think of Theo Vaughn, I can't. All they want you to do in Kansas City is get some frickin' meat in your mouth. We are heading to the crossroads now. It happens to be something that's called First Friday. The first Friday of every month, they have this event that's mostly outdoors with food trucks, live music, people just hanging out, art galleries, just creative stuff, graffiti, street art. I'm really looking forward to it because honestly, after Joe's barbecue, I need to walk. I need to walk this off. I'm feeling a little bit bloated, okay? <laughs> you wanna get rid of those meat sweats, yeah. you hear? I overdid it. <laughs> I'm not surprised I overdid it. Sometimes I just get too excited. I eat too fast. I feel this way afterwards. So. And here we are. And here we are. Yeah. 
here being sold. to our first jazz bar in Kansas City. It's called Green Lady Lounge. And it should be right around here somewhere. Oh, look at the art over there. Dang, street art everywhere. All right, Green Lady Lounge. This is very moody, very cinematic. I feel like I'm in a red light district in the Netherlands. <laughs> That's him sober, by the way. <laughs> it's only going downhill from here. Okay, yo. Street car. <laughs> Kansas City is the sh <laughs> Yesterday was so much fun. I didn't have very high expectations for Kansas City. I just hadn't really heard much about this place, except for the Super Bowl champs, the Chiefs. And of course, yeah, barbecue, right? If they had a choice, their alphabet would be A, B, B, Q, D, E, F, G. But this place just keeps blowing me away. I just feel like there's so much more to do here than I ever imagined. We spoke with a bunch of people yesterday. They were all super friendly and they are just so happy to live here. Like they love their city. We've made it to the river market and we found free event parking. Just doesn't get any better than this. Honestly, some of the best parking for a big city. a massive market. There are multiple rows of vendors. People are selling vegetables, fruits, art, honey, all kinds of things. A lot of coffee, Indian food, flowers. It's really fun on a Saturday, but there are hundreds and hundreds of people here. You feel like you're back in the trailer or what? Yeah, I mean, sort of. <laughs> but it's pretty pretty cool that they're able to make this all this this like they have, a, they have some gifts and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Here. They basically attached this huge deck. They built this deck right out here yeah. so people can sit outside. Yeah. But I will say, I think this is related to the store that we went to yesterday. Made in KC. Um. All right, we've made it to Union Station. Built in 1914, this place goes way back. We learned how much railroads have played a pivotal part in Kansas City's growth, and Union Station has a big role in that, as it's still today the second busiest rail station in Missouri. Dude, this place is massive. All right, we're just now leaving Union Station right behind me. And this is what I love about Kansas City. Right across the street is the World War I Museum. Also, I feel like September is a really great time to come to Kansas City because football season is getting ready to start up. And the weather has been really, really nice. And there's so many events going on. 
So we just arrived to the World War I Museum. And I gotta say, just for the views alone, at the very top, we haven't even entered the museum, so you can just come here and look at the view. It's totally worth doing this. Really, really cool. Sorry, so we're done. currently in a crater. Yeah, that this supposedly came from one 17 inch artillery shell that weighed 1700 pounds so 17 inches weighed 1700 pounds and created this so stupendous okay. and yet moves along as smoothly as it does we will leave on a convoy that will last all night i must say this museum has done a phenomenal job at educating in an entertaining way yeah and with providing like we have there's a few movies to watch that give you kind of a an outline of what you're going to be seeing and then there's just so much to read and so many visual components whether it's like you know what each officer wore whether they're british french german american and they explain the history in a really easy to understand way which i appreciate because sometimes when you have so many countries that were involved you're like what the heck and <laughs> yeah. so yeah, you could easily spend multiple hours here, but well, we're here for two. Yeah, we, <laughs> we only had two, but uh, I could, yeah, spend four to five easily reading everything and getting to know the, all the details. <laughs> all right, it's lunchtime, and we're headed to Q39. And I've got to come clean about something because... So we went to Joe's, an, another very, very popular barbecue spot in Kansas City. And, you know, going into Kansas City, I, I had high expectations for barbecue. And I was a bit, I don't want to say disappointed, but I just wasn't wowed by yeah. Joe's barbecue. That's yeah. just to put it nicely. I just wasn't wowed by it. It was a really good meal. And I was also surprised that it was at such a good price. It was like 20 bucks for a full plate of barbecue. And I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I wasn't you know, it didn't blow my hair back, so to speak. <laughs> so we've asked some local people, where should we go for barbecue? A few of them said, Joe's, you shouldn't have gone there. That yeah. wasn't my first choice. And so I said, all right, where should we go? And we got a few names. We got Q39 a few times. We got Gates. Gates a few times. Arthur Bryan a couple times. Jones a couple times. Uh, we can't have barbecue every day and every single meal of every day. Our arteries so, will not last. Yes, we will have <laughs> clogged arteries. So today is our last day here in Kansas City and we are going to try Q39. If the wings are any indication on how the rest of this meal is going to go, I'm excited. It's going to be lit. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think? So good. This is the best chicken wing I've ever had in my life. You know, these, these jumbo chicken wings, like just the feel of them on my fingers, like... Good. You're going right in. <laughs> Amazing. Incredible. I'm so ready for this award-winning national championship Kansas City barbecue. <laughs> That's what Q39 is known for. They got a wall of trophies to prove it. And just, you know, from my first impressions, I can just tell it's going to be better than Joe's, okay? Just a presentation alone. Well, even here, this is like a restaurant rather than you order. Yeah, more of a restaurant vibe. I went with some Orzo. I love Orzo. I had to get some Orzo. I love that they offer this. Not a lot of places do. And then, of course, mac and cheese with their special bechamel sauce. And they even have their three sauces right here, Chipotle, Zesty, and Regular. So we'll, we'll get to play around with those as well. I'm going to go with the burnt end first. Oh, oh the butteriness of the fat <laughs> just melts in your mouth. Reminds me of Japanese sashimi a little bit, but the cow version. <laughs> I got to go for the rib. Here we go. Okay, comparison. Compared to Joe's, yeah, so much better. This is this is actually very I'm actually impressed by this rib right now. Ooh. Oh my god, the perfect <laughs> ringlet. <laughs> Definitely multiple cheeses in there. A little crunch texture to it. Alright, I gotta try the brisket now. 
Look at that marbling right there. Look at that. Ooh. Wow. They've got that down. Everything they've done here, they've executed so well. Even the presentation. It definitely feels like a more upscale barbecue place because the restaurant feel and vibe, but it's packed, okay? So the parking lot, it took us, we had to go around the parking lot like three or four times just to find a spot, so that's a good sign. Game over. And as always, a big thanks to all Patreon peeps. We love y'all. Go along, Kansas City. <laughs> He's trying to take my line. Well, we woke up this morning to really gray skies and much cooler weather. So this was the first time Nathan got to hitch up without sweating his balls yeah, off. I'm dry. <laughs> Had the best time here. Seriously, really awesome city. We're ready for the next state. And we'll definitely be back. Yeah, we'll definitely be back. We gotta catch a game, dude, yeah. a Chiefs game. My, I gotta catch my homie. <laughs>